French croissants and cafe latte. They're off duty, Gavin. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Gavin, that's spying. I'm not spying on them. I'm just checking out what they can have and we can't. Good to be out there sailing, wouldn't it? Busman's holiday. Oh, come on, Rachel. I mean, you know, beating the windward in a beautiful 12 knots isn't exactly the same as hooning around on a police boat with Dave McCall. Oh, yeah, soaked to the skin, pulling on ropes, getting beers for the skipper. No thanks, done that. Not with me, you haven't. I've been spared some of the bad things in life. We've got some time off, right? Let's go sailing. Just the two of us? Yeah, it was just a 12-footer. Forget it. Come on, Rachel. You know, today is a sort of, um, glad to be alive day. Let's go. Glad to be alive and I want to keep it that way. OK, sailing's out. How about a one day or again South Africa? Ooh, I'd rather spend the day in bed. Fine. Just answer the phone, Frank. Yep, all the way. Tommy? Oh, come on. Tommy, it's our day off. Yeah, all right, all right. All right! We've got a job, Rachel. Damn, I was just getting tempted. Hey, it looks like a heart attack. Hey, you got it? What's going on? Hey, Tommy! Swing her in quick, will you? Frank, I'll get a line on. It's in a bit of a hurry, isn't he? Yeah, just get the line on there, Gav. Oh, no. Oh, all right. Mate of mine, Ray McGinty. Go back a long way. Went to school together. They're practically brothers at one stage. Look at the work he's done on this, would you? Must have replaced everything. When we bought this, it was a clapped out hole full of dry rot. Are you and uh, Ray, you. <laughs> yeah, we bought this years ago. We bought this thing. Young man's dream, you know what I mean? I guess some people keep them, some don't. Let's move over there. Yep, we're going Tahiti, Rarotonga, Samoa, the lot. Venezuela. Well, what happened? Well, nothing really happened, I suppose. I just got caught up with other things and... Well, I got to Brisbane, didn't I? <laughs> well, Venezuela, you know, that's a pretty good dream. You could fly there next holidays. Well, the way we figured it, the arrival wasn't important. It was the journey. Uh, so, it was going, you reckon? Look at all the gear. It's stacked up down below. I'd say he was going somewhere. God, eh? Life's a barrel of laughs, isn't it? <laughs> Are you any word on Goldstein? Oh, uh, she won't be long. Um, sorry. I have to send Nemesis out on the job. Luck of the game. What's the matter? Can't you finish the breast by yourself? Well, I don't know where they are. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to uh, say Detective Riley was just leaving. Well, I believe he's got some. Yeah, Sergeant Blake. We've missed I, nothing, nothing at all. I don't know where the briefs are. Michael, you could try looking for them. Oh, Tony. They're really, really beautiful. They really are. But if you say anything to anyone, you're a dead woman. Do you read me? Sergeant. 
Oh, no, 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 no. What I told you earlier, just forget it. I never said a word. What? About Helen? Yeah, just forget it. Otherwise, I'm dead. Okay, this is Sydney Water Police, but I was just talking to Dave and Johnny Walton. Sorry. We have a report of a young man attempting to jump off the structure at Garden Island. Copy that. Emma! Negotiated for a possible jumper, Gavin. Yeah, copy that. ETA, ten minutes. Rachel! They need a negotiator out of Garden Island. Riley's on his way. Frank, do you want to come? Oh, no, you don't need me. Um, you go without me. All right, look after yourself. I'll head out. OK. Thomas, come on. See you, boss. You want to fill us in, Gav? Yeah, he's uh, some young bloke. Riley's going to try and stop him. Come on. Come on, it's me, Frank. Frank, all the way. Come on, love, this is no good. Okay, fellas. Come on, come on, take it easy. You calm down. Come on. Stupid, stupid boat. You yeah. have worked on it all the time. Very much. Oh, damn it, Frank. Damn it. Look, look, come on, come on. I knew, Ray, it's how he wanted it. You know what I mean? It's how he wanted it. Please, please. Please, I know how you feel. Come on, come over with me. Just come with me. We'll have some tea. Come on, man. Go away! Go away! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Go away! Leave me alone! is on its way. ETA probably three minutes. Look at this, Dave. Track marks. Uh, Junkie, at least we know now why you jumped. Maybe. It's OK. Oh, it's OK, it's OK. Hey, hey still kick it! We'll get him to hospital! I'll see you there! Oh, talk to me, fella. What's your name? It's OK. Hey? Okay? Uh, What's your name? Yeah, we, um... We saw each other a few times, you know, but, um... Then we sort of lost touch. I don't know what happened, really. Well, you know what he was like, Frank. Mum and Dad left us a bit of money. Not much, but uh, he gave up his job and worked on the boat full time. He went through his share and then, you know, he'd work until he had enough to fix the next thing that needed fixing. He worked down here, the lights burning to all hours, living on the smell of an oil rag, pouring everything into the boat. Footloose. Footloose and... Fancy free. That was my brother Ray. And uh, that particular girlfriend, I never got married. Good help if he had. No. No, he was married to the boat. You both were in the beginning. 
Then you joined the cops. Yeah, and got married and divorced. Yeah, and married, married and divorced. <laughs> yeah, Ray told me. I thought maybe you're the one that should have stayed with the boat. Yeah, maybe I should have. Yeah, he was leaving tomorrow. And we, we were going to give him a send-off tonight. Tomorrow he was off. It's true. Gavin, do you want to tell me what happened? I fell. No, you didn't fall. You jumped. I saw you jump. A dozen cops saw you jump. Now, what happened? Why'd you do it? Where do you score your junk, Kevin? What junk? What are these, mate? Tattoos? Do a bit of deal into you, Kev. Have it like yours would cost a bit, eh? Not easy to hold down a job when you need a hit every three hours. Most junkies around town here, they deal. So they keep themselves supplied, isn't it? Whose bloody life is it anyway? I can do what I want with it. Yeah, it's fine, as long as you're the only one who gets hurt. Now, Kevin, you tell us who your supplier is. We might be able to help you out, OK? <laughs> Gotta be kidding. So you mean you want it like this, do you? You want to go on being a lousy piece of crap, yeah? And drag some other poor bugger down with you. Is that what you I want? I can't think. Just... just get, ask him no, to get... No, look, just... we, we can both understand how desperate you were to actually go and do all this. Someone leaning on you, Kev. Are you afraid of someone? I'm, uh, I'm hurting. No, what are you, Kev? What are you, some small-time dealer who, uh, who fell out with the big boys? You stepped on someone's toes, Kev. Small-time dealer. Just ask him for You stepped on someone else's toes, that's what you did. You, you know, you're not the first bloody idiot, all right, to try and blackmail his supplier and end up like this. Just give me a hit, please. We can't Just... do anything for you, OK? Not yet. Just hang in there, all right? I'll, I'll call a nurse. <laughs> I'm just trying to work out what it was you were doing in there, Michael. I mean, what was that? Uh, what? Well, you know, uh, oh, you're lousy a piece of crap and you're dragging other people down. That's I mean... what he is and that's what he's doing. Oh, come on, he's an addict, all right? He might deal. But, you know, because he has to. So what was it, Michael, you were trying to get? Because I don't think it was worth it. Okay, okay. Well, what, what am I supposed to do? Well, just leave it to you. Well, if you've got nothing better to add, yeah, just stand back. Oh, is that what Holloway do? Just leave it to you. Look, Frank and I are partners, okay? He knows my weaknesses, I know his. Which I hear would fill a book. He knows my weaknesses, we know each other's strengths, he knows when to stand okay, back. Okay, hey, hey, how long have I been here? How long have I had to know you or Frank? All right, all right, all right. I'll give you a clue, though. I don't have any weaknesses. Okay, then I know you. Yeah, you do. How's it going? Just went home. Picked up a letter from Ray. Yeah, read it. Uh, dear Frank, for the last couple of weeks I've been getting a few pains. I know what it is, but I'm not about to let it stop me. I'm shoving off anyway. South Seas. If the ticket gives out and I don't come back, Footloose is yours. If you can find it and I haven't run it up on some coral reef somewhere. Use it, Frank. See you in Venezuela, mate. Ray. So what are you going to do with it? I don't know. What can I do? Sell it? Give the money to Simone, his sister. I mean, it's not really mine. Oh, he gave it to you. Plus, you put in all, you know, those hours and the money and... Yeah, but you know, I let him down back then. Don't want to do that again. Oh, I don't know. Thought you might be tempted. What, just shoot through? Well, you know, it's a good opportunity. Sell the boat, live off the money. <laughs> Past all that. Yeah, I suppose. What are you serious? No, no, I mean, you've got plenty of life See, You could have argued a bit harder, couldn't you? Okay, well, thank you. Uh, Michael, this could be for you. Abandoned car, Rego LRD463. It's unlocked. Keys are in the ignition. Uh, traffic, please, Taylor. Parked outside Garden Island. Don't go, Steen, I'll call her. Timothy John Mason, 
Oh, Mr Mason has a bit of form, including one conviction for trafficking and procuring for prostitution. Can you get me a photo? Coming up. She's a good looking head. Hey, can you get me a print out of that? Yep, coming up. Put some life into it for God's sake. You're around as sexy as a flat beer. Then get your gear off. Take the top off first. Slowly. Right? Hmm? Get it off! Then the skirt! Get it off! Oh, look, fuck at this. Look, if you want a job, Dino will give you a beat on William Street. You do all right, and we'll think about something else later. Get off. Try her out, Dino. Give her a few lessons. Might be better on her back than she's on her feet. What the hell do you want? Timothy Mason? Is that right, Tim? Tim Mason? Dinner extraordinaire, you got your dance teacher too. Why don't you tell Lurch to back off? My name's Detective Michael Riley. I'm from the Water Police. You had a car with the license plates LRD463? Among others, yeah. Went missing last night, actually. Oh, and you didn't report it? Ah, uh, I hadn't gotten around to it. Well, it was found this morning, abandoned. Along with a foil of heroin. Yeah? What do you know? Must have been stolen by a junkie. Yeah, maybe. I'm going to have to ask you to come down the station, identify property. That ain't convenient right now. I think it is. So let's go. Mind the shop, Dino. I'll be right back. How many times have we done this together, Frank? No, I can't tell you for sure what I do the autopsy. I want to wait for the autopsy. Go on, Chopper, just give me your best shot now. All right. Well, there's no reason to suspect any sort of foul play. My guess is this is a man who's died of a coronary occlusion. He's youngish, admittedly. Doesn't fit the general profile, but not all that uncommon. He had a packet of aspirin in his pocket. Yeah, I know. Chest pains. <laughs> a universal cure. Someone does some research that says aspirin can prevent heart attacks. You know, the media play the hell out of it, and blokes like your media start treating themselves. You should have seen a doctor, Frank. Yeah, well, it's his choice, wasn't it? Look, thanks, Chopper. Appreciate it. Frank? He might have only needed an angioplasty, you know. He, he might have been back on his boat in a week or two. I'm afraid he was his own worst enemy. Pretty bloody dry argument, wouldn't you say? Uh, I think we're still on duty, Dave. Oh, I love kids' parties. Oh. Okay, come on, come and stay in front of the cake. Johnny, stand in front of the cake. What about some grown-ups drinks? Oh. Remind me to get you to go and organise my 20 years. Mm. Yes, stand up and smile, Julie. Yes, yes. How did it happen, Johnson? I don't know. The, the ice melted and she just, she flew. She flew. Oh. Photograph of you in the stonewash pantsuit. I'm circulating. Oh, she's 39. She's 39. Hang on, I remember last year. Gavin, Gavin, Gavin. What? What'd I say? Maybe 30 night, Phil. What's it going to be next year? Oh, whatever I want it to be. <laughs> Give us the cake, huh? The cake, everyone. Well, oh, oh, thank you, everyone, very much. Come remember. Okay, that's all well and good. Let's just cut the Come on, I'm starving. Plus, yeah. <laughs> all right. Get the... <laughs> <laughs> there isn't there something we should be singing? Oh, it's not a water police matter, okay? Our responsibility finished when we got that kid out of the water. Did it? Officially, yeah, it did. Officially. Michael, I'm really having trouble getting a handle on you. I mean, one moment you're saying, oh, the kid's a junkie, you know, scum of the earth, the next thing you're going into bat for him. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to stop what's happening to Kevin Gilbert happening to other people. Well, how are you going to do that? I mean, I can already hear Tim Mason. He's screaming about police harassment. Come on, Rachel. How many crims scream police harassment? How many of them follow it through? Oh, look. 
I'm really too tired for this. I'm too tired for do good as I really am. I give up. Well, now you know me. <laughs> Are you going to give up on Kevin Gilbert? All right, all right, I'll come. Okay, but you do the talking. I'll just fall asleep in the background. That heroine belonged to the bastard who stole my car. Oh, maybe, maybe. Nice girl, that one. You know, the one getting the ballet lessons? If you like them that way. Well, you must love them that way, Tim, because you try your best to keep them like that. She wanted a job. I felt sorry for her. Like a shark feels sorry for a minnow. She was broke. She was hungry. She was a I minor. But you knew that, didn't you, Tim? Before you gave her a job on the streets? I didn't look at a bloody birth certificate. You get done selling cigarettes to that kid. Throw away the key. Yeah, yeah, sure. Look, this is bullshit, Tim. Who supplies you? What? No one supplies me. Oh, yeah, I so see. You're telling me you've got a little import export business up north, are you? Get real. You go up there for holidays, bring the shit back into the country in your bag, a couple of five dollar t shirts from Bangkok, and a bottle of scotch duty free. He's crazy, right? No, you're the one who's crazy, Tim. See, we found the stuff in your car. How else do you get it? You just told us that no one supplies you. Huh? Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> no way. Now, you either wait for my lawyer or I'm out of here. Well, we'll wait outside. Mate, do you want to go in and uh, sure. wait for us? Thanks. Do you mind hanging around for the lawyer? I might go to the hospital and see if Frank's got a statement out of Kevin. Hey, it was good in there. I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> hey, hey, it's all right, mate. It's all right. You're okay. You're okay. Who are you? Are you a doctor? Can, can you give me something, please? Just, just one hit, please. Just. Hey, I'm not a doctor, mate. I'm a cop. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. I gotta get out of here. Yeah. I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Where are you gonna go? Back to where you were? That's no answer, is it? <laughs> oh, you know. I might know a thing or two, Kevin. You see, I've seen a lot of young fellas like you. You know, a lot of kids that thought they wouldn't get hooked after the first hit, after the second hit, after the third hit. I don't hit. want to hear now, this listen, shit. Listen, listen. You got your whole life in front of you. You hear what I'm saying? And you know what the tragedy is? You're going to spend the rest of your life looking for the next fix. You know what I mean? You're going to look for the next needle in your arm. That's what you're going to do. Then you're going to go for the next break and enter to get the price. You hear what I'm saying? Just, you hear what I'm saying? Just get me something, please. Give me something. Just get me something, please. No, I can't get you anything. Now, you're going to have to fight this, Kevin. You're going to have to do it hard. <laughs> Shh, there, there. You're going to be all... Right, okay. Just shh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Goldstein. Oh, good day, Helen. Yeah. Look, Frank, I've got some bad news. Kevin Gilbert nicked off from hospital. Yeah? Well, he's dead. Uh, Helen just rang. Got up on the roof and uh, jumped.
there? Who's there? Stand in front of the door. Young Kevin Gilbert's dead, Timmy. Hey, really worked for him this time, didn't it? You don't have to do this. You give me one reason why I shouldn't. Who the hell are you? Get out! Uh, Sydney Water Police, Detective Riley. Hi, right, Frank. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. yeah? Frank, where are you? Well, Rachel, there's this excellent little waterfront resort. Beautiful views, lovely accommodation. Right, well, it sounds like you've uh, tried a few. Uh, look, you haven't done anything stupid, have you? <laughs> well, well, that depends on your interpretation of stupid, doesn't it? But i tell you what. I did find out why Kevin Gilbert jumped from that crane. Now, those injuries he got, you see, they weren't from the fall. Oh, no. Now, young Kevin, he knew too much, and he tried to use the bargain for some freebies. Oh, he was trying to blackmail Mason. Yeah, you should give him a call. Yeah, we will. Uh, are you going to come? Yeah, I might come later, I'll see. I'll give you a ring, eh? OK. Mason's our man. Somebody had a ball. Yeah, you're not wrong. Oh, hello. Oh, it's just... I'll kill him. Oh, yeah, you're doing a really good job so far. Oh, it looks like you've been busy. Want a beer? Oh, it'll have to be water for me, unfortunately. So you're not coming in today? Oh, I don't know. We'll see you later, won't we? One water, one beer. God, Frank, what's got into you? I don't know. Maybe I just got tired, you know? Tired of trying to do something about the, um, the Kevin Gilberts of this world. Then there's Mason, you know? Yeah, that guy. He deserves everything he gets. You know, people like him, they're a good argument for capital punishment. Well, I think you should watch yourself, because from what I've seen, I think you're losing it. Losing it, me? <laughs> am I? Well, um... Well, if I am losing it, maybe I could, uh... Maybe I'd try and tell you why, eh? You see, um... You know, I just saw a man my age, exactly my age, cut down in his bloody prime because of a weak ticker, and, you know... <laughs> you know, that happens, but, um... And then I see this young fella whose life's over before it even got started. And then, then there's Mason. You see, people like him, their whole lives are calculated around making dirty money so they can turn guys like Kevin Gilbert into bloody zombies so they can buy their, their next bloody Mercedes, their next Chivas Regal, you know? And tell me, tell me, Rachel, where is the justice in that? Well, no one says life's fair. <laughs> oh, no. Now, you bet your bum life isn't fair. But you know what I reckon, Rachel? I reckon we're really, all of us, there's a bit of the mason in us, you know? We, um, we want the next dollar, then the next dollar we'll get up the greasy pole, and the more we get, the more we want. And it goes on and on and on. That's what it's about. It's all, it's all greed, you know what I mean? And life, what's happening to your life? Before you know it, time's gone, your life's over. And that's my sermon, Rachel. Look, I think you're being a little hard on yourself. I mean, OK, we don't achieve much, but, geez, you've got stuff you can be proud of. <laughs> you see, the way I see it, our lives, like our lives every day, every minute, that could be gone, right? Every door we walk in, every suspect we go up to, it could be some nutter with a gun or a knife, life's gone. And what have, what, what have we achieved? What have we actually got? What? Well, I don't know. I... I like to feel that I'm doing something. I mean, it doesn't matter how small it is. It's like, uh, well, it's like we're building some sort of wall, you know, to keep out, well, whatever it is that's there, maybe nothing, I don't know, but we're building it, you know? It's like one brick a day or one brick a year. It doesn't matter, at least it's a brick. Is that the water talk? Oh, that's stupid. I can't help. Rachel, 
Just going back to the office. I wanted to know whether you might like a lift. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there, Michael. Look, I think you should go home. I think you should go to bed. Okay. Hey, Riley, you know what? You did a good job, mate. Should have worked out better for all of us. Yeah, Frank, it should have. I'll buy you a beer sometime. Yeah, and I'll buy you one right back. Sometime. Bad for me to pry into your personal time, Frank, but where the hell have you been? No one's had a clue where you were. I want time off. How long? I don't know how long as it takes. As long as a what takes. Take a look at yourself, Frank. Look at you. You look like crap. What have you done to your hands? Look, I put in a formal application. Either I get it or I quit. You all right, Frank? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. No, no, actually, I'm not fine, you know. Look, um... Look, I've done enough. I've seen enough. Jeff, I want out. No, I just... I just need time. Oh, yeah. You won't understand. I think I might, Frank. I think I understand you a lot better than you think. Yeah, yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, maybe you do, Jeff, but look... I need this. I really do. All right, Frank. Get your application in and I'll sign it. <sighs> Thanks. You want to talk about this, Frank? No, nah, no, nah, I don't want to talk. I don't want to bore you. Look. Thanks. It's just that I think I might have to recommend an internal affairs investigation into Mason's beating. Is there anything that you might want to tell me that might make that unnecessary? No. All right, Frank. Well, you've got some long service coming to you. Take it. Thanks again, Jeff. Simone, I'm going to get the boat and I'm going to go. Go? Where are you going? Out there. I don't know. The islands. I mean, Venezuela. I mean, doesn't matter where we go, hey, as long as we go. We? we, we we're going? Look, just think about it for a minute. Just supposing, just supposing we went, OK? I mean... While there's time, we could actually make a fresh start. You and me. Like, yeah, seriously. I we can't could... go. I've got responsibilities. I, I know you've got responsibilities. I know there's David, but David could come. He'd get an education out in the world. He would... Oh, yeah, sure. What about all this? All this, all this will be here when you get back. When I get back? Well, when you get back, when I get back, if anybody gets back, if we ever get back, if we don't get back, if we don't get back. What have we got here? Look, Rachel, just for one second, seriously, while there's time, Look, I understand. I just got to say this. Or, I don't know, but it'd be so good. It'd just be fantastic if you did want to go. If you could come. I just wanted to say that. I know you can't, but, and I shouldn't say it. But I just had to say I... that... Better go. Yeah. I didn't think we'd ever find the promised land, the promised land. But if we 
it took a little time You might take my hand You take my hand But I got nothing but tomorrow Maybe that's more that's Sydney Radio, Sydney Radio, Sydney Radio Footloose, Footloose, Footloose Doing radio check on Channel 16 Over. One day a voice inside you wakes And calls your name It calls your name Now I must pay for my mistakes Farewell drink we can smash it over the bow. You know, it wasn't very expensive. Here, you're leaving tomorrow. You've been drinking? Oh, just a few beers. Nothing to talk of. Venezuela. That's in South America, isn't it? It is. Oh. Northwest coast, where the Atlantic meets the Caribbean. <whistles> you're thinking of changing your mind. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You got anything else to drink after we finish this? Oh, I reckon I might be able to find something. So, uh, two years, eh? Mm-hmm. Possibly. It's a long time. Anything could happen. You know, you could meet one of those, uh, Miss Worlds that Venezuela's so famous for. I could meet someone. Yeah, you could, but you'd tell me if you did, wouldn't you? Why? To get your approval? Yeah, something like that. Would you give it? No. Frank, uh, Goldie here, I was called and told that she was. We've got a job. Hey, I'm off yeah, duty. We've got a job. Are you coming? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll come. Do you reckon I should go? What do you think? I'm leaving in the morning, you don't know the boat is. You know, shorts and T-shirt would have been more appropriate. I'm sorry. It's all right, you know, I understand. You know, it's, um... Uh... Oh, it's a thousand reasons. A thousand? Well, you know, that's a lot of reasons, mm. eh? I just didn't want to let you go with that. Saying goodbye? Listen, you, um, you will tell me, you know, if you meet anyone. Oh, I might and I mightn't. <laughs> <sighs> Give us a hand. Yeah. From um, Venezuela, Brisbane. <laughs> Brisbane, eh? Yeah, there's beautiful girls in Brisbane. So I've heard. You take care.
Just crying out your 